Hey, I'm here in a park just outside of Anacortes, Washington, uh, walking on a loop road that they have around the park, through the park. And uh, the reason I wanted to stop and talk to you here is because I've been coming across these distance markers as I'm walking. Now, the one that I've hit right now is uh, 5 eighths. Now, we're in the States, that's 5 eighths of a mile. That's how far I've walked. And uh, actually, the real reason I wanted to show you is as I looked back as I was passing it, uh, on the other side here, you see that it says uh, one and a half. Now, why do you think that is? Why do they have two different distances on there? Well, my guess is that the way I'm coming, that's showing me I've walked five eighths of a mile. But coming from the other direction, you would have walked one and a half miles. And uh, the good thing here is we can figure out just how long this path is just from those two numbers, having those two numbers together here. Now, how do you do that? You've got two different fractions that you need to add together to add those two distances. Well, one of those five eighths, one of those one and a half. If you're going to add those, you can't add halves and eighths. You could if they were the same size piece, the same denominator. So we're going to think of the one and a half as one and four eighths. Because then if we have one and four eighths and five eighths, that gives us one and nine eighths. Now, one and nine eighths, that's kind of an oddball fraction because it's more. It's actually two and one eighth. So that's how long this path is. It's two and an eighth miles long. And here we are at the end of the loop road. And uh, I wanted to stop and show you that uh, we got it right before because this is the last marker before the end and it says two and an eighth. And the other reason you know is guess what's on the other side of this marker? Well, just as you might have predicted, it is zero. Not that you need to know this way you haven't gone anywhere, but just because they want to do that in each of the markers. So there you have it.